Hi there, we need to talk. We need to talk about Spassi's package called Ray. This is not a sponsored video, but Ray is actually a very nicely designed debugging tool to enhance your development experience and your daily programming pro process. Um, it helps you to catch uh, bugs in a very early stage and fix them as soon as possible. I am Bert and I hope that by the end of this video that you will be able to yeah, actually use uh, Spassi's Ray package in your daily development process. So let's dive into it. Okay, so I have the website of Ray open here. Um, this is actually a very nice designed website as well. Uh, let's dive into the docs um, and head over to installation. Of course, you can use Ray for a lot of things. You can use it for Laravel, um, JavaScript, just vanilla PHP, uh, Vue, Alpine React, and, and all those things. Um, but of course, we're going to install it for Laravel. So that will be Composure requires Spassi. Uh, Laravel Ray and of course I already done that um, but be sure to add the uh, dash dash uh, dev flag here um, after that you can publish your configuration and you're good to go so let's dive into the application that I have ready for you here um, this is actually the file that will be generated if you publish the um, configuration file and you can see that all environment uh, variables are available here with a fallback uh, value. So for example here, um, send log calls to Ray, uh, set to true by default, but you can override this to false uh, in, your in your environment file and, and things like that. Um, I have Ray already open here. This is actually uh, Ray in dark mode. Um, and you can also download Ray um, if you buy a license. It's only $49 uh, or euros uh, for a year. So for me, it was a no brainer. All right, so um, let's actually close this one here. And I have um, a command prepared for you. There we go, let's close this. All right, this is my example command where we have a lot of um, uh, ray calls included already. So first of all, just output a simple ray call. Um, and if I have my thing here, all right, so PHP Artisan uh, app example one, this will call this command and we will just log hi to a uh, lot of uh, ray here. So let's run this and this said hi and this is the I know it's kind of late, but I'm sorry. Exa um, this is called from example1.php at line uh, 34. And that, that's actually correct. So let's comment this out again. Um, and we can also add a color. For example, this one will be red and this message will be blue. And this is actually the, the label of the timestamp that will be colored. So let's hit that as well. Whoops, I didn't save. Hit that. And yeah, we now have a red uh, timestamp and a blue timestamp. And if we head over to these, these circles right here at the top of our screen, uh, if we click the red one, we will focus only on the red one. And we can also click on the blue one and the red one and all the others will be hidden from our um, display. All right, um, we can also adjust the uh, size of um, a message. For example, by adding large to it. Um, let's save that and run that as well. And now you can see we have a large output of hi. Okay. We can also add um, a label to it. So hi in a greeting label, for example. Let's save that as well. Run this command again. And now we, we see we have another uh, label here called greeting, which is kind of cool if you want to, yeah, just um, have something in there for, for uh, referencing something. Okay, um, you can also display a collection. For example, I have a collection users, which um, is queried by users all, um, and we output this to Ray as well. Let's run that command again. 
there we go now we get an, a collection with all our uh, users this is a yeah just a factory that I ran with um, 30 random users you can also um, actually send conditionally to Ray so for example here I have uh, uh, Ray if uh, number a is uh, less than 10 this value is less than 10 and this was the value and I want this one to be blue and I want this one to be red um, and yeah let, let's run this one and only the blue one will be printed because 9 is less than 10 and 11 isn't so that's how you can actually uh, print things conditionally to Ray okay so how about getting stuff from the PHP info file? For example, I want to know if the open short tags and the def uh, is is actually enabled, and the default mime type. What what is the default mime type uh, at this at this moment? So let's hit that. The default mime type is text HTML, and open short tags is false. So that's actually pretty handy, and it also labels it saying, "Hey, this is dude, this is." PHP info that I'm displaying here. So that's kind of cool. All right, so next up is measure. We can also measure something. So for example, we can start a measurement and we can, um, yeah, uh, end a measurement. So for example, let's, let's actually do something in between here. Let's do this in between and save that, run that. And this actually, well, let's let's start over with uh, hitting Command Option K. We will get back to that later uh, to have that automated. But this clears out our window. Run that again. It's actually starting measuring the performance on line um, 36 of the bound method. That's actually where it's been bounded. Um, then we have the collection that we're grabbing and then we have the end of the measurement which has a total time max um, maximum memory usage and then the last time since the call all right so we can use this to measure uh, long queries uh, the processing everything that you want to be measured that you want to be measured um, you can use that for um, measuring stuff all right, we can also throw exceptions and display them nicely to um, to Ray. So let's hit Command Shift K again on the Ray tab, run that again, and this exception will be uh, shown to Ray with the line where it happened. Uh, this is very handy to debug stuff uh, in an early stage. All right. Let's comment that out again. And we can also show the slow, squ slow queries. So for uh, show queries, so sorry, it's not slow queries, but show queries. Uh, for example, I'm going to quickly grab this one again. And you need to be sure to place it before the query. So there we go. We place the query after it, hit save, run it again. And then, yeah, it shows the query in just plain MySQL. The connection type is SQLite at this point and it took uh, 0 0.36 milliseconds. It was ran on line 77, we know that of course, and then it outputs the second ray uh, log here of the user's collection. All right, Command Shift K, clears out, there we go. All right, we can also pause. Just kidding. Um, we can also pause our output. So for example, if you want to loop over some very complex things, uh, you can hit Ray pause to actually see what's going on in a very large process and then just hit continue. Or you can also abort along the way. All right, so uh, let's save this and run that. All right, so before pause, and then I have the option to continue or to stop. If I hit continue, 
after pause, this is the second ray call. And if I continue again, after the second pause. So this is something I use quite often if I want to um, process a large thing like um, an incoming order which needs to be sent to um, the accounting software, uh, to the invoice, uh, sending out the invoice to the client, and updating the stock and, and things like that. If I debug those kind of things, I use pause quite often. All right. You can also um, hit a stack trace for uh, to check whatever, yeah, whatever is being calling this piece of code. If we hit that, we can see this actually a handle command. Um, and let me see, whoops, is the command itself. But for example, if I put, I have, I have something ready here. I have a job, ray test job, and well, you can also use caller, but I like to use uh, the trace method here. Um, and in here, instead of this, I'm just going to ray uh, test job dispatch like that. Close this up a bit. Come on, K. There we go. So, hi, I'm the job. And if we see the trace, in here we have the handle of the ray test job. This is a job that actually outputs the ray command here. And highlighted here, we can see who called this. So this is the handle of the um, example one command. And this is the command that we're running to actually do these kind of things here. Um, so that's quite cool if you want to trace wherever the the ray call or the that piece of uh, code is being called from. Okay, we can also send notifications. So for example, ray notify app completed the task. And I hope this works because I have silent mode on here. Oh, well, whatever. I have my silent mode on, so you have to believe me. All right, come on, K. We can also shoot confetti. For for example, if we have like, um, yeah, something to celebrate, uh, the end of a job, process is done, order is created, and we, we, we just reached all our tests and, and we're good to go. We can hit Ray confetti, and this will actually display some confetti. Yeah, it's completely pointless, but it's cool. <laughs> All right. Um, we can also, um, for example, let's uh, have some stuff here like that. Hi, 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 hi. Normally I should have a few highs here right now. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 okay, it's called four times. Okay, um, then we can call ray clear all. And that will actually clear everything afterwards. But it's kind of pointless to put this at the beginning. We should actually uh, put this on top like that. And maybe uh, comment these out here, this one as well, and this one also, and like that. And if I run my command again, I will first clear out and then redo everything. I can also, instead of put this in my file here, because I won't be calling this single command every single time, I can uh, have ray calls in my views, I can have ray calls in my controllers, I can ha have ray calls all over the place. So what I like to do, and what actually a lot of developers do, um, is put the this in the app service provider in the booth method. There we go. So no need to have um, this here on top, but we can actually, um, See, I have a page refresh on, on some endpoint that I saved. And let's actually do this again. 
there we go. If I do this again, the application is booted every single time. So I like to use this a lot. All right, and that's basically about it. There's one more thing I want to show you. Whoops. There's one more thing I want to show you about um, Ray. For example, you're done with um, testing everything out and you are ready to go to production, but you want all those and you, you want all those ray calls to be cleared out from your um, environment. You can actually use an artisan command for that. So whoops, um, in here, uh, this is PHP artisan uh, ray clean, and this is actually a command that will behind the scenes use Rector. And Rector is a very powerful CLI tool to go over the code and uh, yeah manipulate everything for you. Um, so I have left one of them, this one here, commented because that one won't be deleted. So let's run this command. Whoops, run this command. This will take a few seconds, but after that, all ray calls are magically gone disappeared gone forever and that's actually very cool if you want to clean up after debugging and just go to production so again this video isn't sponsored by spacy at all this is just me um, loving this tool and i hope i inspire you as well to use it it will help you in a very very good way for your development process and your overall style of developing um, and it's only 49 euros a year. So see you in one of the next videos. Take care. Bye-bye.